Hey, hey guys, Brian Stogie Review, IPCBR 2017. I'm here with John Huber in the Crown Heads booth. Brian, How are you doing, you. sir? Good, 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 good. A little tired today, but uh, a, a very strong day two. So we're very happy with the show thus far. Absolutely. We've walked past a few times. We've seen it's been very busy, so that's a, that's a good the sign. The trick is have a very small booth like the size of a closet yeah. when you do that then it's like just you and i stand here it's like oh yeah they're putting yeah, the busy, filled it it's up. like yeah totally so and hire large large sales and they kind of like fill it up exactly. yeah. but no no all, all jokes aside it's been a good show really good show reception for four kicks madero has been exceeded my expectations so i'm very happy with it so yeah tell us about the four kicks madero. so okay so four kicks maduro is the original four kicks blend that we did in 2011 in november of 11. that was the very first brand that we released and we've done an extension to the brand using a connecticut havano wrapper we do a, an exclusive for a famous smoke shop it's called black belt buckle four kicks black belt buckle that's a connecticut broadleaf wrapper on the four kicks blend this is connecticut havano it's okay. havano seed grown in connecticut we started messing around with this tobacco late last year with Ernie and uh, start playing with it and it's just exceptional taste to a different layer of complexity flavor um, worked really well with this blend we tried it with a couple of other existing blends to see if we wanted to do it but it worked really well for kids so we've got it in, in initially in four sizes four sizes we're doing Corona Gorda Robusto Sublime and a Robusto Extra so the first four four kick sizes were Corona Gorda Robusto Sublime and Pyramide but for whatever reason, that, that size just didn't really sell really well at Fort Kick, so we went with the Robusto Extra for the larger engage segment. Okay. So, and that will ship late August. Late August, so yeah. price point, like range, what are we looking at? For Probably the looking consumers? at uh, somewhere between eight to 10, 10 and a half. Okay, very reasonable. Yeah. And we were talking earlier also about the Illumin also, which you said is, is new and new, but new. new same, same, but different, yeah, yeah. yeah. that kind of thing. Um, no, Luminosa we soft launched last year in a Robusto and a Toro. Yeah. We never we never really had a chance to, to expose it to the masses at IPCPR. We didn't do that last year. Um, so this year we're treating it as a new release. Four sizes, Petit Corona, Robusto Toro, and Churchill. My okay. favorite is actually the little Petit Corona. To me, that and a cup of coffee in the morning, perfect. But that particular blend, we, we felt like there was a, a void in our portfolio where we didn't really have any mild to medium cigars that you that are easily approachable, easily accessible. Everything we started doing was like heavier, broadleaf, darker Maduros, you know, Las Calaveras, Jericho Hills, San Andreas. So I wanted something a little bit lighter. So we went with this Connecticut Ecuador wrapper that Ernie's got, and uh, I'm very happy with the blend. It's fantastic. Different for us, and it was a challenge for me to, to come up with that cigar because it's not necessarily in my wheelhouse or so in my palate, but I wanted to do something for that AM smoker or Oh, just a beginning smoke kind of thing. Yeah. Take corona with some coffee, you're saying it's a, it's like, a good like, thing. Like yeah. peanut butter and jelly. Like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, nice. Absolutely. Nice. It's a really and that, nice color. And that retail range is going to be? That's even lower. That's like uh, probably seven to mid eights or something like that. Yeah. Very reasonable. Very yeah. reasonable. We try. We try. So what, have you made adjustments as a result of, or in, in anticipation for the FDA stuff? Has oh, that yeah. made, yeah, made I mean, a big impact on what you're doing? Or? It impacted us last year a lot, I, like, like most companies. Um, we did a lot, most of last year was really spent trying to prepare for the next 10 years, you know, getting brands into commerce, the, the ghost brands, if you will, what have you, um, protecting the existing brands, tying it back to SE blends, all that myriad of things. So, especially for a company our size, we've prepared for worst case scenario, and if there is relief, then great. If there's not, then we, we have a good foothold on everything for the next 10 years and going forward. So. So how are you feeling about it now? Some people are optimistic. Good, I feel, some people are, you know. I feel very optimistic. Okay. I, I really do. From the things I'm hearing from behind the scenes, uh, you know, my business partner, Mike Condor, he's very tied into the whole IPCPR board. He's sitting in all the meetings with the lawyers. Um, I don't want to get my hopes too high, but I, I do think that there are things going on literally like right now that will have a very positive impact on the industry as a whole. So, I mean, I'm not... My, my focus last year was more on that, and I think it was a mistake. We kind of took our foot off the gas. And then this year, it was more of like, okay, let's get back to business. And I, uh, you know, so we re-released Drumstick, Mule Kick, special guest cameo appearance by the way. Yeah. The one and only Logan Lawler. Yeah. Um, you know, did another Las Calaveras, and did another Paniolo. So I, I had like six different, you know, 
releases before we even got to the show. And that's more what we do. So, uh, and it's it's paid off. So I feel good. 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 Really good. Yeah. Sounds like you're uh, strong footing now. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We just hired. Just the new normal, basically. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'm just I'm keeping the blinders on and, and let the chips fall where they may. We did all of our homework last year, so let's let's get on to the, the business of cigars this year. So, you know, I feel very good about the future. Absolutely. We, I mean, we're, we've already reserved our booth space for next year. We're expanding the booth next year. Yeah. We hired Miguel somewhere around here, but we hired a national sales manager, which was, you know, a financial investment for us, but we felt that we were at that stage in our development that we could support a national sales manager. And we've got a great group of guys. We've got Wes, we've got Brian, we've got some good brokers. So, yeah, I'm very optimistic. It's great, great. Well, thanks for taking a few minutes to talk to thanks us. Thanks for swinging by, it. man. It's good yeah. bumping into you in the, the back corners. Yeah. Justin, always a pleasure. All right, cheers. Thanks, everybody, for uh, watching this video. And thank you for smoking Crown Heads.